way back. Can you still hear me? I hear myself. Okay. There we go. Uh, I've been working on this other character for my hopefully future animated thingy. But it's been kind of frustrating. Oh, I have to open the freaking explorer again. Uh, I've done and redone the these scales in the in the legs several times. I'm still not happy with them, but I think I'm gonna leave them for now. I wanted to focus on the face already, and. And maybe just do some first sort sort of poly painting test. I feel like I should redo this spine plates. I, I made them first and uh, they don't really look like the rest. I made the, the others too smooth. Or maybe I should do the same I did to the other ones to this, but it doesn't quite look the same and I feel like I'm ruining them. I did a, a crumpling effect. Because they're still too, a bit too perfect, a bit the edges are still a bit too straight. Is symmetry on? Yes. Uh, and I also still face the problem of turning it into... I, I still have to do the face. I still have the problem of, of turning him more into a character and less because so far it's just a, an animal it's gonna be just a big turtle that talks but um, I don't know if I should add something else to make it more of a character or less than a plain animal I feel like I don't want to add like clothes or, or necessarily accessories or human features like eyebrows or, or, or a beard or anything funny I don't want it to look like a like a kung, kung fu panda kind of character, but uh, I would like to make it a bit more of a character. So far, I've been just trying to do a turtle, uh, a turtle, uh, And it's not super true to life. I'm not going for realism. It's again, it's a, it's a giant turtle that speaks. It, it, it doesn't. It's a fantasy thing. But uh, I don't know. I'm still trying to find it. I don't have like like I did with my main character, Ergol before. Uh, does it work? my better TTV isn't working my icons did I get that disconnected too? well, doesn't matter uh, this guy, where do I have it? Okay, I can't. I cannot even find what I'm looking for. Uh, as I did the, and I even forgot what I was talking about. Uh, as I did the main character, I, I oh god, that's what I was saying. As I did, I I didn't necessarily have a a design. I had more of a, more or less of an idea of what I wanted to what I wanted to make, but I'm not having. I don't have a specific design or, a, or, or an actual uh, specific reference 
I'm just sort of winging it. I'm finding the character as I sculpt him. So it's the same with this one, but so far I've been avoiding the kind of particularities that would make him more of a character. And it's just a turtle. Which I don't necessarily mind. I mean, I feel like I could... Most of the animals in this are just gonna be... Just that, literal giant animals that speak. Uh, but I don't know if I should give them any kind of features. At some point I thought of adding some kind of crystals to the plates and maybe that could be like a defining thing but again it doesn't necessarily define him as a, as a character it just makes him more of a magical creature um, but uh God, it's so hot in here. Uh, at the same time, I, I don't know if I'd be making it too weird. I just want it to be like an old, an old sage of the forest, literal animal. But Maybe he should be more of a character. There's another character that's a sort of a... To keep the, the theme of the crystals, because if I, I thought of putting crystals on the, on the, on the plates. Uh, there's like a deer or, or an elk sort of character that... Is this a main resolution? No, it's higher. Uh, that I thought giving it like crystal antlers and that could be like a common theme among some of these animals but I don't necessarily have an idea to put crystals in all of them I, I don't necessarily want to make that a thing but I think it could work with this too I also don't want it to look like something that has been literally added in the end in the last minute to make it a thing. This freaking plates look so different. I, th there is some distortion that I could make it maybe... If I had noise... no. Uh, no, no, no. That's not it. But if there is like... Where was it? There's some kind of distortion that I can add. Maybe I can just keep... What happened to my freaking uh, better TTV emotes? Because my Lara worked before, didn't it? Lara? happening am I connected to better TTV Anyway, um, I really don't know what to do. What was I looking for here, Alphas? I could apply some Alpha to the plates.
but I don't have anything quite like. Oh, I forgot I had these scales. Maybe I should have tried these scales in the legs. Okay, Breen. See you tomorrow. Don't worry. Thank you again for watching. Thank you very much. <laughs> These are actual absolute scales, but I could have used those scales in the legs now that I think about it. I ended up doing the legs with a very, very, very basic texture that actually comes with ZBrush. This is kind of dumb. I don't want to do them again. I, I did it as a bit of a placeholder when I did and because uh, I wanted to sort of complement this other scales to see how what the leg could look like finished but and I ended up just leaving them Some of these scales are rough. Again, I, I did this three times with three different brushes. I made my own IMM brushes for these scales. Maybe I should try a different shape. I feel like they should be bigger in some parts. They should stick out more. This is kind of a first for me. I, I generally apply this kind of texture with an alpha. I, I've never sculpted, I've never placed scales one by one before. to flatten them completely but there's some some look look a bit too rounded look a bit too geometrical they it l they look exactly like the alpha that I used so I didn't layer them very well I could have used a different alpha I didn't remember what alphas I had for scales. Here I layered a, a couple of different sort of textures. There are these wrinkles on top of the on top of the scales. In some cases they overlap in a weird way that wouldn't really happen. You don't have a wrinkle running across a singular scale but it was all for the sake of giving it the texture. I don't even know what the finishing is going to be like. I might end up making it more flat looking. In any case, I'm kind of tired of massaging the same features again and again. I really want to try to do something with the face today. Looks a bit like like it's colliding a little bit with the with the shell. Maybe I should flatten this. The resolution here is kind of low as well. Well, it doesn't show that much, I think. this in here. Is that better? I was going to sort of weld the face and the and the and the neck together and the the skin of the of the eyelids.
but at the same time I don't mind if it's completely different. It's the one thing that I uh, sort of took from the Ray Harry house in Archelon that I was going to reference more heavily and I ended up deciding it shouldn't be a flat sea turtle, it, it, it should be more of a tortoise and I ended up not doing anything really like the Harry Houseman model, but there's something a bit in, in the in the shape of the, the head that's kind of reminiscent of, of, of the skull that's still kind of there. It's also a little bit like the, the whatever his name was, the turtle character from the never ending story. Is this a higher the highest resolution? No. I don't really know what to do with the jaws. It might be entirely a, a up to the paint job to do something with it. still working. Uh, this also is something that I did with Ergol. In, in, in the case, in Ergol's case, I did it with the eyes. Uh, in this guy's case, I'm doing it with the head. I have this kind of articulation that looks like a puppet. Uh, that's why the head is separated from the neck and the jaw is its own part too. It's a little bit of a aesthetic that I'm going for. Uh, doing like um, Again, I'm not going for realism or photorealism or anything, and the, the animation is going to be rough. But I'm going for a little bit of the uh, pup puppet fantasy of the 80s, like Labyrinth of Dark Crystal. Because it's very much the uh, kind of inspiration for that anyway, so... Uh, what the hell am I looking for? Alphas. Alphas... this... This maybe? Does that work or it clashes too much with a already existing? This is too much. Yeah, that's absolutely too much. Well, with lower intensity it could be, but. It's too subtle. Again, I don't want to add like like detail that I can do with a bump in the in the texture later. Some kind of a roughness. I don't know. That's way too much. And then smooth it out a little bit. No, I don't think that works. That's a problem with this. There's a, there's a lot of like trial and error, and I go back a lot of the times and, and redo some details. Um, because I'm just not happy with how it went. 
I have a lot of skins, I have a lot of... This random shit that actually comes with ZBrush, where am I gonna use that freaking star or that... This is freaking arrow stars I might use, but... These alphas... Are not like anything you're ever going to use, and these are all... What even are these, sir? Oh, they're just different... Okay. Mm. Oh, uh, let's just try to do something with the head, finally. I have this precise texture that is from around the eye of an elephant. It might work here. Where is exactly the point? What? This is kind of subtle. Resolution is still kind of low, maybe higher. No. Maybe I should mask out the edges of the leads to not apply this alpha here yet. that does much. I'm not confident enough to... This is like a soft skin area anyway, it only needs some wrinkles. I'm not confident enough to draw my own wrinkles from scratch here, so... That's why I prefer to have an alpha. And just apply it. Still kind of looks subtle, like... I don't know if I should do it with much higher intensity, but... elephant eye really works for this I think maybe that was too much too high intensity
I really want to be done with this guy already. I think like I did Ergol in only eight sessions. This is like the seventh for this. Um, I don't want to go on for more, especially not making more scales again and again. Uh, where is the crease? Why do I always misplace the crease? Uh, brush. Mm, the lacy is too lacy. I don't know how much deeper I should make the nostril. It's only going to be like painted dark. It's not like it has to go anywhere. I should do some other some more texturing I don't know yeah it's a tiny polish well a tiny polish is a lot Well, I can try that later, but, um... I had other skin... skin-like... textures that I can try. This shouldn't be... Probably shouldn't be too textured, I mean this a this area is just like tough skin against the skull. It's not super scaly. It's still wrinkly, but... Hmm. I made the eyelids sort of pop out the way they do now. I think they were a bit more sunken in as they should be. I have to adjust the globes as well. a lot. Here I should break the symmetry. Or I'd have a weird seam line. Uh, But again, yeah, probably in this area it shouldn't be too heavily textured. Probably the top of the he head should have 
Sim, texture. I should have done some more detailing. Again, I'm not necessarily going for any kind of realism. I'm. I think it's already more realistic than I intended. Uh, well, this kind of folds. Well, th that's super heavy with much lower intensity it could use to have this kind of curve here to really accompany this shape and this curve maybe Maybe a little bit more intense. I don't freaking know. How about up here? The symmetry on? Yeah. really to go with the curve and the shape and the thing. If I could make it connect here would be really something, but I don't freaking know. Again, I feel like it should be more done with the paint job than with the texture here. this sort of accompanying the shape I sort of like but I'm not super happy with it also I've done much smoother uh, wrinkles in, in the rest of the body I don't want to make anything too tight necessarily in the, in the face I don't know I should get better alpha, so I'm just working with the few that I have, and they are not great, they're not enough, even. I should make my own alphas. I, I always do, but something like this, this organic, it's like the kind of thing that you cannot fake, or that I cannot fake. If I could draw uh, wrinkles like this, or, or textures like this, I wouldn't be me. This wrinkle here bothers me, but this line look like they could connect with this one if I put this one here somewhere here I should at this point be looking at more closely at the actual reference but again attacking something like this from a more visual point of view you're trying to make something 
uh, more aesthetically pleasing than, or at least sensical than, than realistic. I'm not going for a Nat Geo kind of thing, I'm just doing a big giant turdy that speaks. And it has some advice and a magic orb to give Ergo. I don't freaking know, but at some point I lose my patience and I start doing whatever to fill the gaps. Um, where's the skin one that I was using? That's a problem, some are like, not pixelated, but they have like a lot of green to them and that green isn't necessarily part of a texture that you're trying to apply. It's just green in, in a JPEG. I don't freaking know. the direction of it. Again, I'm trying to make wrinkles and scales sort of connect. I don't want them to look like I layer too much shit. Here, here's th this is exactly just grain in the JPEG. It's not the texture of the of the of the scales and it ends up giving me like a weird effect that it's not what I wanted, it's not what I was going for and I can use grain here and there but that doesn't really add anything to me, I need, what I need is the scales especially here in this sort of beak I wanted to be more smooth and it, add, it added that weird sort of grain. Anyway, this might very well be unnoticeable in the final render. And I'm bitching about it like it's gonna be super visible. It's a very basic shape, but but maybe that is part of what kind of makes it a character. The fact that it's it's slightly cartoony, uh, somewhat realistic. I don't know. I talk as if I knew. There's that edge again if I can make them connect. Is that too much? I can soften here a bit.
There's something sort of sea turtley about him. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to name him. I had gone for... Again, I came up with a sort of giant turtle character for a thing that I wanted to do in my teens that of course I couldn't make because I couldn't draw or animate or anything. And I call, call that character something like Panga or something because I wanted it to sound sort of primitive. And it, it's... I think I'd also call him that because of Pangea, Pangaea, Pan... And, uh... I wanted to sort of reference that and bring it back for this one and I had come up with a name like... Again, Panga, Pangaro, Pan... something. But I don't like it. I truly don't feel it. So, for now, and as, as a tentative sort of work, title, work name, I called him Archelon, which is probably mispronounced. It should be Archelon, because it's a colon, colon, colonius, colonid, col what the hell? The actual prehistoric turtle that Harryhausen did for... Uh, how many years BC? I don't even remember what the movie's called. I was originally going to reference that, but again, that's a sea turtle. Um, here, no. Can I? So even the character name is up in the air. Lucky I'm more set with the actual story. I lost the screenplay that I wrote last year when my when my laptop's hard drive broke. For some reason I didn't back up a m miserable text file. I'm used to not backing up everything because anything because generally I produce like very large files for for, for stuff like this Th this is not a large file on on ZBrush but it's gonna be probably once I export it to Keyshot and back in the day with a terrible internet speed and with no storage anywhere I had terabytes and terabytes of stuff that I should back up and I had no way to back it up so I, I'm used to not backing up a anything so I lost the screenplay that I wrote last year but I rewrote it earlier this year so at least this part of the screenplay is kind of set it's not set in stone it's not an iron script but it, it's uh, more or less done but the character's name itself in the different versions has kept changing and I still don't know what to make it most names I, I'd like to change I've, I've come up with different names for I have been changing around the names all the time. The n I, I wanted to call someone Astaroth, and I gave that name originally to the the deer, the elk sort of character. And I thought, to hell with that. Uh, that's a perfect name for the wizard. And uh, so now the wizard is Astaroth. Um, But for ev everyone else, I think Astrid is the only name that I have kept. All the other names have been shifting around. Maybe I could flatten this instead of softening it. I always forget flattening is a thing. Sometimes softening 
makes you lose detail and I only want to I don't want to soften it like well this this should have some wrinkles or something um, softening this tends to surface and it makes you lose detail but flattening it only de-emphasizes it without completely making it disappear this is a very low resolution for this area it, I think because uh, I stretched this part but at least I don't want it to be flat it should be kind of wrinkly what the hell am I doing I don't know if it should be like that or it should be like in this direction, this direction. Yeah, let's mask out this part of the neck. I don't want them this wrinkles bleeding into the rest of the neck. I always joke about how I speak in half sentences, but it's so true. This is... why... is this really the highest resolution? It's already pretty high, why are you doing this to me? Some weird distension. If I subdivide this more, it's going to be a lot. Did that really add anything? Hmm. Maybe here in this weird... <laughs> this weird... thing I could... I should mask out again this part. Soften the edges. And apply this with a bit of higher intensity, negative, and soften here. Is that too flat? Why is it so... Should have done something here, sculpt wise. I keep thinking I'm gonna fix this with the poly painting, but I'm looking at one turtle has some actual scales around the eyes. Where is the this one? This is probably going to be too much, but let's try. Let's maybe mask out again the actual... eyelids. Which I should make a bit more thin give some detail detail to them
Okay, now here. If I apply them from like here. Is that too much? This is too much, but I'm looking at it. This guy that actually has some scales around the eyes. But especially, it's more like. It's almost like an like an eyebrow situation made of made of of scales that could be interesting for a guy that's not going to be super expressive this is just, just going to wag the chin Very much like a puppet. That could be interesting. It's a weird angle. I made it that way following the wrinkles, but uh, it's kind of a strange angle. Maybe I could just leave this bit out. They don't need to be too big, but again, it's for the sake of giving it some character here. And maybe something similar down here, below this wrinkle. work on any level it kind of connects a little bit the, the wrinkles below in the in the actual sort of skull and this sort of eye socket if, if here here if I applied some here in this corner as well I don't know if I could do something very simple inside the mouth that could be good if it sort of connects again the the sort of skull with the eye with the eye socket maybe this is a bit overdone we could apply two make them smaller
Where's the crease, crease, crease here? I saved my own crease brush out of the dam standard. It's a modified version of the dam standard uh, brush from ZBrush. Because I really like the, the, the crease brush in Sculptress and the actual one in ZBrush doesn't work that way. Same with the pinch brush but sadly there's no way to fix that one. pinches things in a weird direction. Very rarely is useful like the actual pinch and sculptress. This is still very low resolution. Why is it so freaking low in here? Well I'm I'm very close to the face, I guess, to the thing, but Again, some little skin texture here. Ended up looking a bit too soft. I'd really like to kind of finish the main sculpt today or at least give it, give it some degree of finishing and uh, maybe try to do some poly painting tomorrow and call it done already I want to move on I want to do other characters maybe some backgrounds already I should start working on those And I have no idea, yeah, I do have an idea, but I'm not sure exactly what am I going to do, or how. I'd like to do the at least a couple of rooms, the room where they make the spell. Some kind of altar. Uh, kind of place in Sorcia's Tower, then the actual exterior of the towers, just this this world is protected by the three towers of the three wizards or the one wizard and two sorcerers and uh, the wizard tower has to be kind of half destroyed or almost completely destroyed and uh, then there's Astrid's tower and Sorcia's are still up I don't know if. Yeah, I think I should do those in 3D. A, a lot of the a lot of the backgrounds I'm only going to do, like a sort of a foreground piece in 3D and sort of a background. It's just going to be a sort of a backdrop, a 2D backdrop. Because I'm obviously not going to make. I wish I could. I mean, uh, anyone else would do like a, a complete forest, like an, in in Unreal Engine or something. But I don't have that option really. So, I'm going to do something like that, like some sort of foreground pieces in in 3D and it's set against a sort of a 2D backdrop. And for some interiors, yeah, for Ergol's house or and for Sorcia's the actual sort of altar when they're going to do the, the the spell I'm probably going to have to do the, the full room in 3D which should be 
the best option because I, I I'm probably going to need to move the camera around and I'm going to have entire scenes set in there and I, I need that freedom but for the rest especially the forest I'm, I'm, I, I cannot do a 3d forest I'm going to just have to make do with uh, whatever I uh, tr little tricks I can um. Where am I? I was checking Discord for a second. Um, I don't know if I should do something here. I probably should do something for this symmetry. Looks a bit like... Jesus. Not what you would want. This convergence of of textures okay. oh fuck I didn't do this with symmetry on I'm so fucked. I'm so so fucked. Why didn't I do that with symmetry? I'm never going to make them match now. That's so wonderful. Is there a way to keep this always on top? Hello? Uh, Jesus Christ, I cannot even find it on the menu. Here, fun, view, always on top. Options, menu, then always on top. Okay. I thought it was in view, but it's in options. Great. Fantastic. I am so freaking screwed. I didn't realize symmetry was off and the scales that I put on the other side are, are not in this one symmetry is always very helpful, I probably abuse it but uh, what you gonna do? I don't know if I should go back and reapply them on both sides at the same time. I'm gonna save and go back. God freaking damn it. No, it's too much. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Uh, but, 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 but what's the texture I'm looking for? This, this freaking. Does it look like that? Oh, here's our goal. I don't know why I opened this. Uh, turntable animation. I was looking for the other ones, the fully rendered ones, and I cannot find them. Where the fuck did I even put them? Uh, is that remotely it? I don't even know. I'm here, around this area.
Did I make them in just one stretch? Are those remotely alike? It does look like there's some stuff going on here that's different to the surrounding area. That's all I can say for myself. Is that too much? Are those too big? Yes, they are. I didn't... That's the direction. That's the correct direction of the texture. Okay. Fuck it. This is the no. Where is the texture I'm looking for? Are these even? I don't even know. to do in the beak again I don't really want to texture too much it's the kind of thing that I want to do with a painting because it's more of like a bony kind of thing uh, or maybe keratin what the fuck is that made of um, Probably I should do some sort of skin skin like situation here. The symmetry off again, god damn it. Keep turning it off. This is too reptilian. I mean, it is a reptile and everything, but I want it too lizardy. shortcut for the alphas in here. Am I still... Am I still on? The rumble of the freaking fan, but it, it's so hot in here, I cannot tell you. We're around a hundred degrees these days, especially we have here a very specific kind of wind, the hot dry wind that it's very hot, it's a very strong wind and it has its, as it's very dry it's ideal to cause and spread fires 
that's not what I was looking for. So it's like a triple, quadruple threat of a wind. And on, on an already very hot day we have that wind now. And tomorrow we might break all the records as well. It's been quite the week. I feel like the socket should be more sunken in, but... Is symmetry on? I don't know what to do here in the... I have this kind of knot that's like a... it's like an elephant elbow or something. It's not of a texture. But this should be more smooth, probably. But I thought it could work for the chin. way it's so freaking hot this computer is always is only just pumping more heat into the room that's why most summers I don't do anything any sculpting any of my little projects that's why I wait until a April to do my daily challenge I could do it in, in February February would be ideal in terms of m my availability and uh, what whatever but it's just a heat the heat is killer here I wish I could make like some little uh, Maybe those are too sharp in a still kind of low resolution that causes some pixelation, but maybe something like this kind of cracks. Maybe here the intensity should be a bit higher. Not really. deformed yeah I should try to mask out the 
the rest of the face and kind of smooth out this and maybe do something like the interior of the the, the roof of the mouth at least or something give it some kind of texture and, and some painting too it's not going to be too visible because it's going to be just shut and dark but Keep turning off symmetry. And I keep forgetting that I did. <sighs> I should have cut the stream in two. Sometimes it's just easier for me to download the vote the vote of the of the sculpting part. I guess I can always make it like a highlight and then download the highlight and then delete the highlight and then... Because the gaming is whatever, but the, the sculpting, now that I can preserve it... Especially for this project, uh, I like to save them. I've been uploading them to my YouTube channel. Is there a similar texture to this? A similar alpha? It's 58. Something that's a little bit less. That's more like straight lines. Slightly straighter. I'm so freaking hot. I feel like I have the fun behind me, but the back of the chair is already blocking most of the air because I wanted to blow on the laptop too and on, on the capture card that it overheats easily and it starts glitching out because it's cheap as fuck oh here I have individual lines maybe I can apply this or here I have only two lines Why is this so pixelated here? There we go. The minute I said it, I jinxed it. Am I still capturing? Was it just my my screen kind of flickered? Okay, looks like it was just my screen and the stream is still up. The capture card has been giving me some shit these days. And I always knew, I mean, it's, it's not even a capture card, it's a glorified HDMI to USB adapter. I always told, I was always told they overheat, they're not they're not great, I should get like the proper thing, but I'm not even that serious about streaming. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy that I'm doing it now. It's helped me a lot, especially with this project. It's given me a schedule and a motive to keep going. The fact that I can stream it and also the fact that I can save the bots. I had never captured any of my sessions. A lot of people always ask me to either do like full videos or, or like a time lapse or something and I thought my process is so chaotic I go back and forth and I abandon things and I resume them like weeks later uh, I don't think video would work because again it's very non-linear and I use very I'm jumping from one software to another all the time, so it's not like a, a thing that I can capture very efficiently. So I always thought it either recording or, or streaming my, my sculpting wasn't going to make a lot of sense. 
But now that I'm trying it here... I don't know if it makes an awful lot of, lot of sense, but... Uh, it's proven to be a pretty good thing. I Higher intensity... It's really helped me with this project that I wanted to start. I, this was going to be my passion project of 2023, and between the fact that I lost a screenplay and I lost a lot of the sort of research that I had done and a, a lot of the things, the in, in terms of influences, references, all the research that I had done, I lost when my laptop broke. So that was very discouraging and uh, that already made me sort of shell the whole project for most of a year. It's been a hard year anyway. Most of the little projects that I had ended up kind of aborted. My Phil Jameson video I never finished. My birthday video, like the ones I make every year. And it's one of my big inf biggest frustrations because if I, I put so much work on it. But it was also affected by what I lost when my laptop broke because it's an idea that I had for years and I had been collecting material for it for years. And uh, I lost all of that but I still told myself I'm, I'm gonna manage, I, I will find stuff, I will recover some stuff, I will find new ways to make it and I will make it this year. And I went for it and then my whole situation with my mom's health started and that was it. Everything else went out the window. Uh, even the, the watered down version of the video that I was going to make became impossible to finish or to keep working on and only now in November I started with the streaming and I started to to go back to doing my things and it's been a good thing but it's been a really tough especially second half of the year peppered by me losing everything I had in my laptop exactly, almost exactly a year ago but well here I am I'm, I'm working again and I'm finally working for real in this project and I finally made actual Ergol which was the most important thing to really work on and design the character as, as, I, as I went along thing that bleeds into I had a tutorial for that there's some brush settings that I can turn so the mask won't bleed through the other side well okay that kind of worked but How can I mask one side of a model without affecting the other side? Note something. Note a video. I remember seeing this. I have it somewhere, but.
great, I'm not gonna find it locally, but... Brush, auto masking, back face mask. Okay, that was it. Can I unmask this then? No. Without affecting the other side. Outstanding. I always forget how that's done. It should be off by default, I feel like. Now I can soften this texture that bled into the inside without affecting the outside. Without affecting as the YouTube video says. Instead of affecting. I really like this shape, it reminds me of a sea turtle from the local aquarium. They've moved him to a sanctuary somewhat recently to a sort of biological preserve of some sort. the aquarium I think doesn't even exist anymore same with the zoo zoos anywhere in the world have are like major tourist attractions and whatnot here they campaigned against them and had it dismantled and What is happening? Did I move the intensity too much? I feel like it's 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 acting funny. I think it's going to it's going to crush. I'm afraid to save and maybe it's already corrupted. I feel like it's gonna crush any minute. I know that freaking behavior. I better reset the brushes. It doesn't matter so much what I was doing. Um, I wanted to do just a typical sort of shapes from a roof of a mouth, at least a cartoony version, like some kind of ripples. What the hell's the word I'm looking for? Uh, where is the crease button for the love of the crease brush for the love? Of Fuck! I always misplace it. bigger. The laziness... The laziness is too high. It's my own brush and I don't like the settings. It's a custom brush.
Does that make any sense? A cartoon mouth. Again, it's not a cartoon, it's... It's not realistic either, it's some sort of a weird hybrid. If it was for me, it would look like... Almost like an animated illustration, like... Like they did in Adult Swim, that show... Some people I know, uh, Benjamin Martian, uh, Ify Nariwe, the Tiktone. I'd love to have that look, not necessarily that tone. <laughs> kind of an underrated show. I wish they made more. Is that too much? Oh, I changed this too. Make one more. Am I still with a crease? Okay. No. So I give it a view below and everything. Probably I don't have enough material here to, to stretch and do anything, but. Again, I'm, 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 I don't think I'm ever gonna look into its mouth. His mouth. I wish I could keep the stream running to check for quality and whatnot, but uh, well, the bitrate seems to be in the green. I don't know. I never know if I'm capturing right. Did I save the link to the video? Because I always forget how the masking in on one side is done. Okay, uh, we have this. Is this playing? It's just to provide some kind of background noise to my noise. Again, maybe here I could try to do like a, a y to build up some material and do like a uvula and the back of the throat, but I don't even know if I'm it's worth it if I um, if I have like enough material here to stretch and go around or something like that. The idea is for it to just look like two planes From here you can see If you see it Oh it does, it, it is kind of visible from here So yeah, it's, it's worth making, I guess Oh shit, I s exposed all the Part time medics explode into pieces. Why? Well, what's even the the point for some tools in this thing? I I I, I do get it, but there's just so many things that I don't use. Uh, where are we here? Back to the throat, sort of. A friend of mine used to promise he'd drop by. He never did and he stopped promising. <laughs> Some people avoid me like the plague, like on social media. I don't like promoting or anything. And I'm not even that serious about streaming, but... It feels so weird and it's so funny how some people... ...think I'm going to make them watch me or something. I don't know what they think. So they're like afraid I'm going to ask them for something. Even here I don't ask for anyone to follow me. A lot of people 
come have a look and don't even follow. And of course, why would they? I mean, they don't want to. If they don't want to keep watching, I'd be only a an annoying notification in their feed every now and then for something they don't care to watch. But I don't know. I'd like I'd like at least to make it as affiliate, probably not partner. Probably even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to. And even if I had some subscribers or anything, I don't know what, to what kind of limbo that money would go to. I, I don't have like a bank account. I do have a local bank account and a local uh, debit card, and that's all I have. I don't have anything that can be used online or on the internet or internationally. So that's why I'm. A hobo that doesn't subscribe to his friends or to anyone because I can't. And I'm always apologizing for that. All my subscriptions to to Phil Jameson have, have always been gifted. Because again, nothing I would love more than supporting him. But I just cannot. I lead a very primitive life in a very shit economy that's only going to get worse. The president already talked about a 15,000% inflation. 15,000%. And they've already come up to sort of soften it to say no, it's going to be around the 3,000 a year, like 1% per day. So it's going to be 300 and 3,600 and something. Wait, 10% per day. So it's going to be 3,000. 10% per day, as if. We have we've been having years with 10% per month, and it has been fate. So imagine 10% per per day. So my economy is already in red. It's always been in this country. You can never go anywhere. You can never do anything. You can only go down and down. We're going. It is visible from here. Okay, it's, it wasn't a complete waste of time, but glad I did it. Again, in these areas, I've, I'm always tempted to do like a little um, like a little texturing, but it, it should be just smooth. It's Bone, it's whatever the fuck it is. I'm always tempted to do like a little roll that's probably too high intensity, but something like maybe I could do something like this in this sort of transition area to have something that looks a little bit like scales, a little bit like nothing if I can give any texture to the nostrils it should be this it should be something subtle like a bumpy kind of thing and not And not like full blown scales as, uh, as anywhere else. Maybe I can do that in the in this sort of chin area too. <sighs> Jesus Christ, it's so freaking hot. 
I have a little more of around one more hour to keep going today. I like that, that's a bit of a bumpy thing again to complement this sort of wrinkles without being an insane texture scale scale texture am I again doing it only on the only on one side great 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 nothing transferred to the other side why do I turn off symmetry symmetry is my only friend Two here, one here, another one there. These are the kind of little bumps that make more sense with the on top of the wrinkles instead of the other kind of scales that don't intersect well with. I don't know if the edge... I feel like the edge of the beak here should be that sharp. Maybe here I could up the intensity. Don't be silly. This day could be more intense. The symmetry on. For God's sake. Some of these areas are way too smooth here. This this is so much of just an alpha the way it is. Straight out of a alpha folder. So layering some other textures really adds to it. Again, probably I should adjust some things with the plates, but uh, I would love to be able to just finish this today, for the most part, for the... Why are these... Oh, that's an neck. I, I thought uh, the active... I don't really want to retopologize these, but let's give it a try. To make them more even, to make them more the bigger scales to have all the polygons that they need. Yeah, I think that worked. I think that was for the best.
bottom is very smooth, but it's not going to be that visible. I think it, I better just do a, the best paint job that I can and, and just leave it at that. I don't love these lines, they look very freehand as they are, but not in a good sort of organic kind of way. I keep massaging these scales because I'm not super happy with them. I don't want to redo them, and I do want to redo them. These are still like very smooth to me. I want to. I wanted. I've been trying and failing to add some kind of up texture to these, and nothing I tried makes a lot of sense. That's excessive, but there's always some... You can always soften it back, but uh, it's kind of pointless if I'm going to do it only to half undo it. Uh, but there is something I should do. I don't know what. Did I press? I should give it feathers. See how he likes that. Should I use the buttholes again? In the p <laughs> in the plate. I made this as a fabric sort of folds texture but since it, it is the way it is I called it a butthole. Um, these weird textures I don't know yeah it's th too stony maybe with a lower intensity but I don't freaking know Okay, you are acting funny again. Why are you like that? Where did you go? It's going to crash any minute, isn't it? This is because I did the expose thing. I don't know what's that tool for. I mean, no, I I get it when you you, you want to look at like all the parts at once, and it's even. Uh, Useful. Where did this even go? Where did this, this plate go? It's gonna crash any minute, isn't it? I've been saying it for a while, but it's... It's so definitely... Definitely gonna happen. It's, cause it's been acting funny for a long while now. Where are these plates? Oh, here. Where did these ones go? Did I delete them or something? I think it's gonna crush now that I tr I'm gonna try to reload.
Did I miss something? Did I reload after? It's so funny. In colors. Living colors. Uh, but now it should be easier to isolate them and everything. That's that's game changing. Uh, can I... Is the back face mask still on? No, it's not. Can I try this now? Mask the front, but not the back. Well, maybe with I should have done it with a smaller... Yeah, I should have done it with a smaller brush. If I unmask this, is this unmasking the front as well? God damn it. Uh, is it not how that should work? Back face mask. If I mask the front, is it masking the back as well? Why is it doing that? Anyway, I've struggled with these scales for three different streams. I don't want to spend a lot more time with that. Is this scale duplicated? Why is it acting like that? This is elastic. That's insane. These brushes are not supposed to work like that. It's gonna crash any minute. I don't know if I might as well reset it myself or I'm gonna I'm gonna take a tiny break and I'm going to reset ZBrush because it's acting up. Everything is acting up.
um, back have I been have I been streaming with the Tomb Raider layout? Oh my god, I never noticed. What an idiot. I didn't even notice. I was supposed to use this layout. That only shows, I think, my, my socials every now and then. Ay, 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 every... Day a new mistake, a new technical difficulty, a new fucking whatever. Um, this head, I feel like it's very snake nut, a snake like right now. I don't know if it should be a bit more narrow, or that only makes it more snail snake like. I wasn't planning to adjust something as radical as this, but I feel like it would benefit from being a bit more narrow here. It was like strangely sticking out. eyes like turtle size are like very just dark so be they are the beady type of eye to give it a little bit more character I can make them more like a like a proper pupil and please tell me symmetry is on yes it freaking is for a change is it really better? question mark oh the eye didn't move in symmetry and this one is what? have two sets of eyes? what is this sphere? there's a single sphere out here? What is this even doing? I think I preferred it like this. That's 
again very much part of my process a lot of like sort of trial and error and doing and doing and redo and redo and redo and redo ad infinitum ad nausea so that's why I, al I always thought it wouldn't be streamable because it's not very streamlined to begin with but I'm enjoying this. I mean, it, it's again given me a schedule. It's given me like a bit of a purpose in a way. Didn't I flatten some of these more? Did I scare Don away? Yeah. <laughs> I know this can be tedious and I'm monotone sounding as fuck. I don't know why, I feel like I used to sound more I think this is a kind of voice you're pushed into when you don't want to sound a certain way. I don't know. I don't want to sound so absolutely monotone. I hate that kind of voice. I hate to be doing it. I could sound worse. I've sounded worse most of my life, I feel like. I don't want to flatten every single scale, but again, I was dumb enough to use this very generic alpha for these scales. And a lot of them are a bit too bumpy. Now I need them to be a little bit more flat again. Here they overlap like a fucking mess. Lucky it's not that visible. This I don't know what even is. I feel like I've softened too much the textures that I applied in the to the neck. Okay, this is a complete exaggeration. Uh, let's lower the intensity, let's lower the focal shift. Okay, that's not completely wrong, but that's not necessarily what I was going for either. Uh, 
at least I don't have hiccup today. I'm kind of burping a lot. I don't know if it's audible. I'm trying to make it not so. Flattening is my friend. It's preferable to softening. Softening. Undo. I will undo everything. Flattening will only sort of de-emphasize it. The focal shift so wide. I don't know why I had softened so much what I had done in this area. It still looks very textureless for the most of the part. I should overlay some folds and some actual textures. I think I already said it, but I, I almost didn't stream today. I certainly didn't yesterday. I had so many technical difficulties. Nothing worked. I thought the the capture card was broken. Lucky it wasn't. For a while I couldn't even know for sure, so I went to the living room and I plugged in the the HDTV uh, sort of what is that called? Well, the that freaking device because I needed some other HDMI input to test it with. The laptop was acting funny, so I restarted it and for some reason got stuck with some updates. And it just wouldn't restart. It was a the permanent freaking hourglass thingy. Well, it's no, no longer an hourglass, but that, that thing. And nothing happening, and I was desperate trying to confirm whether it was the laptop, whether it was the PC, it was the capture card, what the hell was going on, what was broken, what was not w working. And the freaking thing just wouldn't start, wouldn't let me try one thing or another. So frustrating, I spent the entire afternoon on that, I paid very little attention to Phil's stream because I had to solve that to see if I should go try to buy a new capture card or, or, or do something. Luckily it was just... I had cost some garbage with some configurations and some uh, drivers and stuff that I had been moving around because if I had been desperately trying to reroute the, au the audio in a way that I can uh, hear the game without hearing myself and it, it, both the microphone and the 
stereo mix go to the stream but not to my earphones and uh, all of that I've been trying so many things and I today I ended up doing it in the simplest way possible with a with a op an open source thing that some guy and in, in freaking I tried video, virtual audio cable and all of those kind of applications and it only make it the only complicated things, they only messed up everything else and uh, some didn't even work the first thing that actually sort of worked, it did the job, but for some reason it lowered my microphone quality very much. It made me sound like I was in a landline in the 70s or something. I don't know why. I don't know if there was some weird settings somewhere that I had to up, but it was not working in that way. It was working as intended as it was sending just a microphone, just a, yeah, the microphone and the Uh, so the sort of stereo mix and the to the stream and not to my headphones, but I don't know for some reason it lowered the headphones quality so much. This has been maybe appropriately slow for Turtle, but I have made like very little progress in so many streams already. And again, I'm happy with the sculpt, but is it a character? I don't think it is. Should I make this stand out a bit more as if they were actual brows stick out a little more? Did it change at all? That was okay. But this. I don't know what changed. Um, what if I just build up some material in here? Maybe it should go around a bit of like the entire orbit. I don't want it to look like it's frowning, but. Okay, that's way too much on the outside here. But up here... It's frowning, he's so frowning. He's so absolutely frowning in that. Not so much here, but it's just the shape of the thing. Maybe I should do it all across the upper thing. Is it really Friday today? Am I completely mistaken about that? Wouldn't be the first time. I kind of like it, but not quite like this.
feel like I should bring forward this entire area in the, in the eyelids as well. supposed to be sort of sunken in because it's a socket but it's also sh shouldn't look detached from the skull as it does as it is I guess That's going to look really stupid in the in the vault and in the time lapse. The fact that I used the Tomb Raider layout for more than half of the sculpting stream. What time is it? Oh, it's almost quitting time. Uh. too thick in here, like very weird way to connect to uh, to the head. Um, this is soft ones. This definitely needs more texture. a lower intensity as it slows slowly fades out as it lowers here. Again it has a bit of a quality of uh of a poseable sort of stop motiony puppet or any other kind of puppet and it's a bit lazy on my part but it's also by design and to sort of mimic a little bit the kind of thing that it's inspired on super satisfied but at the same time I feel like I love this guy as I should
Wow, quick really is almost quitting time. Um, what I wanted to do here. Oh, the spinal plates, I'm so unhappy with them. I don't want to remake them completely to match these other ones, but. We could give it like a bit of te a texture in, the, in this end and make them smooth on top. I don't know, what is this? What does this do? It's a stone kind of thing. No. It's just granulated kind of thing. Drag a sort of gradient. So it doesn't apply to the top. time and I'm just making up whatever as I as I do a lot of the time. Ah no symmetry off Yes it is. It was all for not. Okay I, I don't I don't know what to do with these guys. Uh, I might try to finish it off screen or something because if I really want to just start painting it tomorrow. Uh, off stream. I flattened that too much. So, so, so freaking hot right now. I really need to turn off this computer.
Is there a s this what this this what smooth valleys. At least it's not completely smooth. Okay, I I've, I've, I'm officially out of time. I, I should go. Um, I want to make some render of the face. Okay, that's not so bad. I hope he's gonna look good. Where the f loop? I can make a screen cap on the stream too. I've done dinosaurs before, I've never made a tortoise. So. I really like this. There's a million things I could have done so much better, but... Uh, it's really... Sort of on its way there, I feel like. I like the lines. I was very satisfied. I, I've made a lot of adjustments, but I'm, uh, I was pretty satisfied with the original uh, shapes, blocking that I did. I can't complain. I will complain, but I, I'm not completely unhappy with it. Again, it should be more of a character somehow. It is the one thing I I don't know if I'm going to really use this like that, but there's the the medallion. I don't know if it's going to be really a medallion or more of a like an orb kind of thing. But I like this design because it reminds me of something else. But this is probably too big for Ergol's. It should fit perfectly in Ergol's hand and at this uh, scale. I think that's too big. But anyway, that's it for today. Hopefully, uh, I guess I'm probably not gonna finish the sculpt off stream because I really want to capture everything. Uh, so tomorrow, Saturday, yes, I, I should have a full stream again with some more Tomb Raider. Probably I will take more seriously. The problem is that I, I already. Today I wasted a lot of time with the audio problems, but uh, tomorrow I should go back and try to do the Antarctica thing and the actual minecarts. And finally get out of there and finally finish it, and finally finish this guy to either just to sculpt it and, and at least begin some kind of uh, texturing. But uh, it should be done. Both. SAP. Uh, thank you for watching thank you Brin if you're still around thank you Dan uh, if you're still around uh, thank you anyone that might be lurking see you again tomorrow